All right, right now we're talking to North Carolina Department of Insurance Commissioner Mike Causey here to answer your questions. This person texted in, my company decided to remove accident and minor violation forgiveness when my policy renewed in July. I didn't ask them to do this. Then I had an accident was ticketed for a minor violation in August. I've had the coverage for years. Do I have any recourse with this insurance company? Well, that insurance company, uh, that's an option. It's an optional thing. It's up to the company whether to uh, add those benefits or not. But my suggestion would be to shop around, talk to other insurance companies and other agents and make some comparisons and see where you can get the best coverage with the most uh, extra benefits like that. I know a lot of times when you get renewal papers, you kind of just figure, oh, everything's the same as last year, but it is something that you actually have to go through, look at all of the stuff that's on your policy and possibly talk to your agent to ask if there's anything that's changed. Exactly, it's a great idea to talk to your agent every year to make sure you know what's covered and what's not covered. And again, ask for replacement value coverage. You want that replacement value and also make sure you have full coverage. That's liability a comprehensive and collision, all of those. Yeah, because liability, you have to have it by state, but comprehensive, you don't have to have it, which means if your car gets flooded or a tree limb falls on it, it's out of your pocket. That's right. Okay, so this person's asking, if you own two homes, will flood insurance only pay for one? One of the homes is paid for, the other one has a mortgage. Well, flood insurance is handled by the federal government. It's under FEMA with the National Flood Insurance Program. And they do have a maximum of $250,000 for the payout, but I would contact uh, the agent that sold you that policy uh, or the National Flood Insurance Program uh, to find out the specifics on what's covered in your case. Okay, this person says, the health insurance company did not pay part of a bill for no preauthorization. When we called the insurance company to begin the dispute, the insurance company said, wait until we get a hospital bill. Is that normal? Uh, that happens uh, more often than not. But again, uh, it does take time for these processes to work out. But if, if the consumer is having some concerns over uh, an undue length of time to get it, the claim paid or settled, uh, call our office and we'll check it out and uh, give the insurance companies an opportunity to respond. All right, someone asked, did my homeowner's insurance cost rise because of the COVID-19 impact on the price of lumber to rebuild it if there was a fire? Uh, would you repeat that question? I, I couldn't hear the entire question. Uh, did my homeowner's insurance cost rise because of the COVID-19 impact on the price of lumber? So if I had a fire, it would cost more to rebuild. Well, the, the insurance rates are uh, controlled by the, uh, the rate bureau, the North Carolina Rate Bureau. So, uh, no, they have the insurance rates have not changed at this point because of COVID. However, lumber prices have tripled. So, if somebody was uh, rebuilding something because of uh, fire damage or some other damage, certainly the cost to rebuild would be higher. So. That's another reason to talk to your insurance agent to make sure that you have the proper amount of homeowners coverage uh, to, to rebuild if necessary. All right, this person says um, they're talking about uh, their doctor authorized a generic brand of medicine all the time or their insurance only wants to cover a generic brand of medicine. And you talked about this just briefly. So if there's a generic brand that's always being done instead of the one that is supposed to be prescribed, what can be done? They can contact our office. We have a, a called a peer-to-peer -peer review, and we have a program called Smart NC that'll work with you and get involved. And uh, if sometimes we find out that the name brand uh, is the only way to go, and insurance companies agree to pay for it, and of course, most times insurance companies want to pay for the generic and not the name brand. But give us a call, let us check into it, and we'll see what we can do to, to get it resolved. Mm -hmm. um, so this person is wondering why credit scores affect your auto insurance. Well, that is part of the process, the way insurance companies uh, take numerous factors into consideration. 
And so uh, any changes to that would have to be made by the uh, North Carolina General Assembly. So if someone has a concern or an issue on the factors that are used, I'd say contact your state senator or state representative. Uh -huh. And one last thing, someone said, I just filed a dispute last week with the Department of Insurance. I want to commend your department on the speedy response to take my complaint. Someone was w in touch with me within two hours. So yay for that. <laughs> That's great. That's what we like to hear, speedy absolutely, response. Absolutely, absolutely. And we're going to be putting the Department of Insurance numbers in the two wants to know section for you so that you are able to look that up for a very quick reference.